Okay, so the question I wanted to ask is, I've got, I've got my blog set up, and I think I'm going to be okay writing copy, but do you have any suggestions about how to go about coming up with ideas for articles to actually write about? Yeah, I mean, there's a couple of ways you can do it. I mean, you want to make sure that the, the stuff that you're actually writing is going to be a benefit um, long term to you in terms of traffic, because there's no point spending a good few hours creating a piece of content um, if no one's going to actually find it or it's of no use. So right. I think one of the first things I do is I do a little bit of research into um, you know the, the types of subjects and, and titles that I want to see. So I don't just pick something out of the air. No. Um, so with Google, you actually have something called uh, Google Suggest. Um, so as you see, as I'm starting to type in the just the normal Google search, search bar, you'll see that all these suggestions coming up below it. Yeah. Okay. So if I just type in something that's within my kind of niche, so how to install a WordPress blog. Yeah. And then we've got all these variations below it. So how to install a WordPress blog on an existing website on my mm -hmm. website. Uh, just grab one of those. Now, Google Suggest are actually provides you with search terms that have already been searched by real people that have just been logged into their Google accounts. So this is information and search terms that is actually in demand to some extent. Right, um, yeah. We can't actually work out how many times they've been searched, but it will give you an idea on exactly what people are actually looking for at the moment. So yeah. I would start with this because it just gives you lots of different ideas. Mm -hmm. um, in this example, uh, we've got that how to install a WordPress blog on my website. We've got 4.6 million results. That's yeah. not very accurate. So what I'm going to do is just put that into quotation marks. Okay, like that. Right. And then if I search again, and that gives us the exact phrase. Okay. So by putting that in quotation marks, you're actually looking for a piece of copy that's appeared exactly as that phrase. Exactly, yeah. And the sort of the lower the number here, and this one actually's got no results at all. So mm. that would be quite a good an easy an easy win if you like if you wrote an article about a WordPress yeah. blog on my website. Yeah. Um so yeah, that would be a good good pick. You want to get a nice low number, um, just so it's a little bit easier for you. The problem is uh, the lower the number is less competition and it might also mean less search search for. So mm. Mm. Uh, it's, it's difficult to get the balance. You just have to test a few different articles, see what works, what doesn't. Um, but again, ranking for something like this should be pretty straightforward because mm. there's nothing else nothing else there um, so I, that's basically it that's how I kind of form a basis of a, of a post um, okay. and yeah you can see some examples coming up yeah so the, start with the Google search box yeah absolutely yeah simple mm. okay. um, the other thing you can do actually just sort of another step onwards is there's a tool I think it's called uh, uber suggest uh, And that is kind of a much faster way uh, mm. of gathering the search results. So right. um, if I go to how to install a WordPress this time, how to install a WordPress, suggest, that will then go out onto Google itself and put in yeah. all the variations. You see that? Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. We've got yeah, 292 there. So again, loads more of ideas of actual mm. phrases and search terms that people are using in Google. Um, mm. So if you can fill these areas, then then great. You know, that, that's good content to develop. So again, that's searching quoted phrases, which is really what we want. Yeah, exactly. Um, there's lots of ideas here. Some will have a lot of competition. So you should still um, take them into the Google search box after you've got an idea here. Yeah. Put them in quote marks and just to see roughly how many other competing sites you're going up against. For example, yeah. this one, 
at the top here, how, how to install a WordPress theme, mm -hmm. I would be very surprised if that was uh, zero results. In fact, mm -hmm. let's just try how to install a WordPress theme. And see, as I type that, there's a, other variations coming up as well, but yeah. if I just do yeah. this one. Yeah, so 375,000 results. Yes, yeah. However, you might get more more traffic from that term, but mm. to get on the first page, you, yes. it's going to be harder. You yeah. Know? So again, that's really not a phrase we want to choose. We want to refine it a bit more than that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, again, you need to test a few of these uh, easier ones just to start, and then... Mm -hmm. You know, if you're feeling up for a bit of a challenge, then you can go for one of the slightly mm. more competitive terms. Yeah. Okay, okay cool.